Hey everybody, this is Downing, and today I'd just like to show you my latest completed portable, the Jenny Boy. This is a Sega Genesis 3 revision. Um, chose that one mostly because it was the smallest of all the, the Genesis boards and the latter of the model, so it made sense to put it into a portable. Um, this took probably around three, maybe four weeks to do, if I hadn't have taken some time off. Um, and I'm actually pretty proud with it. Uh, the case is a little bit more beat up as, than it was when I had originally finished it off just because when I put the components in I kind of just scratched it all up and sent it all over the place, but it's still not bad. But let me take you around the system here a little bit. It's got a PlayStation D-pad, because that was just the easiest fit for uh, what I had to work with. Um, a third-party Super Pad Sega controller six-button version, uh, start and select buttons, and plus and minus volume buttons. Um, on the bottom we've got the standard charging jack and the single pole double throw switch which is just used right now it's in charge mode and turn this on it goes into power mode. Um, it's got a 3.5 inch display, uh, just a standard eBay backup screen. Um, this one actually has pretty clear picture for what it is, and a uh, single stereo or uh, mono out speaker. Um, I only did mono because really the Sega 3 only has mono stock anyway. I do hear there are models that you can revise it and get stereo, but for what this was, it really didn't seem to make much sense, and it actually sounds pretty good as it is and of course the uh, the vacuum formed casing. This was a three component part um, the base model, the bezel for the screen, and the bezel for the controller. Uh, this was just the controller bezel was just a random design that I liked and fell upon when I was trying to figure out a layout for the buttons. Um, so that worked out just fine and the screen bezel again just a piece of wood cut at 45's on either side and cut down to the proper length. And of course we've got the Jenny Boy logo on the back. But let's get into the gameplay. I mean like I said everything here works perfectly and I'm actually surprised that I got the D-pad to work so well because I was having problems with it earlier. Always pushing two buttons when I went one direction or something like that but the way I had it laid out on the inside allowed me to raise up one side a little bit so it gave it a little more clearance and it actually feels quite nice. All the buttons do. Um, the plus and minus volume button is for the uh, the headphone amp that's in there, or I should just say the speaker amp. It was a little iPod speaker that uh, got off of eBay for like five bucks, but the thing's got some juice to it. I did, however, lose the button that came with it for the minus, so I just had to crudely cut out a piece of plastic to make it work. And you can tell these switches are a little bit louder than these, it's because I used uh, loud click switches as opposed to the rubber tacks, which are behind all of these buttons. But I'm going to see if I can get this right with the glare. I've been having troubles with this all morning. You can see it boots up just fine. Sonic. It's never very good at this game, even though it's pretty much as basic as it gets. But all the buttons pretty much just do the same thing in this particular game, jump and go and bounce and die. Almost die. But... There we go. Now I'm dead. Okay. Um, the game cartridge goes in right up through the top. Um, it is a little bit harder than I would have liked to put the game in and out, but that's because inside here, it's kind of hard to see, 
the casing is held together by teeth on the top and bottom, but it was so tight on the inside that the teeth couldn't go down around the board like it was supposed to, so they kind of stick out, and the screws that are holding it in sometimes touch the game. But it's, uh, oops, let me see if I can do it without breaking it. What happened here? There we go. Just gotta push it in until it clicks. Turn it on. You can hear. It actually gets pretty loud. Blood code going. Start the game up. My personal favorite. But this game actually shows how the detailed the tax switches have to be. Because as you can tell, there's a lot of codes that you have to do or buttons you have to touch all at once in order to do specific moves. Down back rotations work just fine. The block, the kick, and the punch. I believe these just mirror the. Yep. Yeah. Toast. But there you have it. That's my system. I'm proud of it, and it seems to be working out all right. So, I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit more in-depth on how the making of this went in, uh, in the forums and my project log, so check that out. And if you get a chance, check out my uh, website, downingsbasement at word, or dot wordpress dot com. That's where I pretty much have my own uh, showcase for all this. And then check us out on the forums at uh, madebybacteria.com to uh, find out how you can make one of these on your own. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the forums.